What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Cross Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, episode 2. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon. Links to those will be below. We are reacting to Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, episode 2, because we enjoyed episode 1. I was pleasantly surprised by how entertaining this show is, because... Like I said in the other reaction, I was thrown off by the trailer. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I judged it. I prejudged it. <laughs> I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson to try things new and don't judge things by its trailer. <laughs> okay, we're back in the art room. Oh, girl, hey, hey, girl, hey! Oh, that was loud. That senpai! She is so hyper. Hit motions. Find the right moment and slide in. Oh, she wasn't expecting him to do You got your wish, senpai. That is the name of this episode. Why is he in the dark? It's so dark in the art room. Which, what is that? <laughs> There's a slime in the background. Big boobs, vampires. You had a pervy smile, sir. And Nagatoro caught you. She caught you. Oh, you better be prepared for her to pick on you. Oh, she is ready. Well, I think it's nice that he did offer her food. Offered her yakisoba. Get you look in his eyes earlier! You were like this! Yeah. Hide it, boy! Hide it! Hide it! Oh. <laughs> She totally likes him. Look at that! Touching his hand! Oh, she's got so cutie! And Senpai got tricked. Senpai, you got food! You fell for it. You should have known better. You should have known better that that's not how she really is. I wonder if that's gonna backfire on Nagatoro later on. Like when she's for real, seriously being sincere. And he can't take her seriously because she always says that. Psych! He's like so defending himself. He's like defending himself so hard. Squish. <laughs> the way she like squeezes her boobs. I didn't think she had a chest big enough to do that. Look at that bouncy. Vampire. He's like, I just wanted to read the vampire story. 
It wasn't the boobs I wanted to see, it was the story! Boobs was a bonus. But he won't say that boobs is a bonus because he's too embarrassed to say that he like he likes boobs. Too shy. Too shy to admit he likes boobies. And she's drinking tomato juice. He's like, right? Right? Isn't the story good? I think it's cool that she actually read it. Oh gosh. She's like, You resemble this character. This character resembled you. The character that died, that got captured and sucked the life out of him. Suck, suck. <laughs> Why would he be alright if he was attacked by a vampire? What does being a virgin have to do with anything? Wouldn't vampires like go after virgins because they're not tainted? Is that true? Is it true if you're not a vampire, you turn into a ghoul? Is that true? I've never heard of that. Okay. That's a really good coincidence that the lights turned off. <gasps> that creepy eye look! Oh my gosh, she is ready. It's like, it's like her foot got switched. Can you try? <laughs> the more he reacts, the more she wants to tease him, I bet. Oh gosh. I think she... lives off of his reactions, like, his response. I wonder if it's because his responses are, like, so genuine. If she likes it. Look at her being aggressive and straddling him! Being all touchy-touchy with him. You know, for someone who keeps talking about virgin this, virgin that, and I want to say brave to touch him and such, I bet she's inexperienced also. Shove her aside. <gasps> Look at oh, she's touching him so intimately. What? Garlic breath? <laughs> Tomato juice and garlic breath. What? Ah. <gasps> she didn't mean to touch him there. Accidentally lucky, cause like the in the comic, the guy accidentally touched the girl's boobs, and she accidentally touched his down there. She was embarrassed. I think she's covering it up. I think she's make she's lightening up the mood, so it's not awkward with them anymore. <gasps> she did. Don't 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 do this. Oh, look at that! Look at 
the sweatshirt off. She, oh, she was shy. She was embarrassed. She can accidentally touch his groin, but she can't do it on purpose. I've noticed that. I noticed that she couldn't touch it on purpose. That's why she grabbed him on the side. Notice she didn't go psych. Accidentally lucky. <laughs> Look at his position! Why are you bent over like that, huh? Would you try to hide? <laughs> Would you try not to touch? That's funny. That's funny. I think it's funny because it's normally uh genders reversed. So it makes it look like that she's the one in charge in the relationship. She's the dominant one, she is the predator, and he's the prey, and he got caught. Play a game. What? Guess where the nipples are? Okay. Have you ever played that game? I've never played that game. I would not play that game. That does not sound comfortable. Yeah, he's not a groper. Back like such a virgin. There's no point in playing, even if he wins. He's like, what's the point of playing? You can ask me to do anything to get. Anything? But does that mean if she wins, she'll get that ticket too? So... If he loses, you'll have to do anything she asks. Ask her to do something crazy. These suggestions, or these examples that she's saying, sounds like she's suggesting, she's suggesting it. Like she wants him to ask her to do that. He's like, I don't care about that. I just want to make her stop. The way she wiggles, gosh. She's like, ready. <laughs> He's like, I can do it. I can handle her touching me. I can handle her touching me. And I hope she doesn't win. Please don't win. Please don't win. Hunter? Oh no. Doesn't this mean that she's gonna aim good? She's gonna hit the target? Bullseye! She missed? Look at that! You saw that sweat drop she had? She missed! She missed! And now she's going to bully him into saying that she didn't miss! Look at that! This doesn't count. This does not. Don't don't tell her she made it. Tell her she missed. She missed. No. Why that game though? Where did she get that idea? Who taught her that game?
I wouldn't play that game now, but I wonder if I would play that game when I was a little kid. Not knowing anything about sexual stuff and whatnot, like being all innocent. <gasps> She's nervous. Look at the. Did you see those eyes? She's like, please don't touch it. Please don't. Please miss. Please miss. Please don't touch the boobies. <laughs> she, she was nervous about it. You saw how hard she pushed him? She's running away. Don't run away. It doesn't count. If you run away, it doesn't count. No one lost. No one won. Game invalid. Wait! He even took a route to differ from his home. Differ from his home route. And he still ran into her. So there are the boys next to his class. That means that they're his age. Yaba P. An extension of our. Oh, come on. Artistic elements. Totally pulling stuff out of his butt. Oh, wait, okay, so did Nagatoto's friend and his friend just gave him an opportunity to be them? <gasps> she looks annoying! <laughs> she looks like she hates his music! She's ready for her to act like this! He's like, boy, feel my pain! He's relishing it, or he's waiting, he's anticipating it. Oh? <clears throat> she didn't really feel anything. Sounds like you aren't really into it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that reaction either! Very different from how she reacted to him. I wonder... if she teases the guy in the glasses, the senpai. She does, like she's enjoying it because... She can sense his passion and art versus this guy who doesn't sense passion and his music. Wait, did he just mention about boobies? Get bullied and cry as I have. She is giving him the F off look. Bruh, she like shut him down. Oh, she's the friend was setting her up. Huh. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. <clears throat> I think 
she messes with him the way she does with so much joy because she senses how hard he works on his art and she likes that she's attracted to him because of that what do you guys think do you think that's why she likes him I think this is an episode that shows an example of what happens when she encounters someone that's not sincere about their passion, their hobbies. What do you want to say to her? Glean again. Why is she calling him gross? And that was my reaction to Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, episode 2. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Discord link is the in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash lehuosuperfina people who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream to talk about the anime the episodes and such have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation you guys are more than welcome outside of youtube and twitch i also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that links to the podcast is in the description we are available on all platforms other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro Episode 2. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.